Hey there, how you all are doing? So in this video, I'll show you how you can add uh, different global footers in DV when you're using Polylang. So in order to do so, you'll just need to navigate to your uh, DV theme builder. Then here, as you can see, I've already created my global footer. So in my website, so this is the global footer. This is appearing for both languages. I have added two languages in my website. So this is the uh, same for both the languages currently. So I want to set a different photo for another language now. What I will do is I'll just go and uh, add. So I'll just remove this. I'll show you how you can do that from scratch. So here, as you can see, I have uh, added only one global footer for my website. So this is appearing in both the languages. So I'll just go and add a new template over here. And then here you don't have to select anything so you want uh, uh, if you have only uh, some of the pages uh, what you can do is uh, you can select uh, those specific pages and then now uh, you can make that uh, photo to be available on those uh, specific uh, pages but here uh, in my website I have a bunch of pages so I want uh, uh, to select uh, by only uh, specifying one condition so currently I'll select one page here and then we'll create a template but here then i'll deselect it because i want it to be appearing on all the pages of my arabic language so I'll, i have deselected that now here what i will do is i will not use the global footer i will have to create a, a custom footer right i'll close this and then i will delete this as well now i will add a custom photo uh, I'll build a custom photo for my uh, Arabic languages. So I have already saved uh, my English footer layout in my library. I will take that here. So I will build my uh, different language photo over here. So just to differentiate between the English and uh, my Arabic footer layout. I will write some word over here that uh, to differentiate this is an Arabic footer okay all right so this footer must appear in my Arabic pages and not in my English pages all right once done I will save it so in my English pages this Arabic word will not come but in my Arabic pages it will come once done just click on save so we have to add a class to both of these layouts over here so this is my english photo i will add a class to the complete section over here a class custom class uh, to mention that this is an english photo uh, so i need to provide some css for this in my custom css tab i'll save this now i'll add a custom class to this as well here in my arabic footer i'll add a custom class as well here this is to mention that this is an arabic footer so all right just save it so once done save all changes all right now you'll need to go to your customize tab then you will need to add some custom CSS based on the classes that you have provided. So here I'll uh, write a comment first. So now what I'll do is I have given two classes as uh, you can see. One was English photo. Then another one was the, uh, was the Arabic photo. So for English photo, I want that to be appearing only on the English language. So what I'll do is I will take a language selector over here. Then I will write this should not appear in my arabic pages this english photo i'll write the css that it should not display on arabic pages all right similarly for my uh, arabic photo it should not display on my english pages i'll write it as ar photo again language selector here I'll write it as EN. It should not display on my English pages. Display none. Alright. We are done. Just save it. Alright. So once you are done, we'll just need to go to the front end of our website and see 
uh, whether uh, the particular respected uh, footer is appearing on our website. So I'll just reload this page now. So this is an English page. The same footer will appear in my English pages. All right, so it's appearing. Let's go to the Arabic page now. So this is the Arabic page. Let's scroll down. All right, great. So as you can see, the Arabic footer is appearing on my Arabic uh, language website and uh, the English footer is appearing on my English language pages. So this is how you can uh, add different global footers in DV for Polylang. I hope the things are clear. If something is not clear, please feel free to write back in the comment section. We'll be happy to assist you. Please subscribe to my channel to keep getting more exciting updates. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.